Hi there. Good afternoon. And welcome to Lunch with Hero. If you find this of benefit to you, please don't forget to share with your friends and family and help them have a more educated uh, life in health and nutrition. So today's topic is slow carb diet. What is it? All right, what is it? What do you mean by slow carb diet? What do you mean by it at all? Okay, firstly, I'd like to tell you that this morning I had about 30 grams of protein, as I told you yesterday. 30 grams of protein within one hour of waking up. So I usually have my 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of waking up, which was at 6.30 a.m. in the morning. And so now, ah, hello, Uncle Caesar, welcome on board. So what has happened is that, hi, Roger, welcome on board. So what has happened is that I had my lunch. I, I mean, I have started eating my lunch. I started eating my lunch at 12.30. And the first thing I ate was one full avocado. So that's the healthy fats. And then followed by, I had 100 grams of flounder. Flounder is quite high in protein and fats. And of course, doesn't have any carbohydrates. And later on, I'll be having a, another protein drink, a protein shake, which will have about 24 grams of protein. I'm going to share with you my carbohydrates, the carbohydrates that I consume so that you can have a understanding of how and what it looks like. Hi Sandra, welcome on board. So let me show you what my carbohydrates look like. My carbohydrates look like this. This is two stalks of celery and lots of greens. This is one third of the package. This package has 250 grams and basically this one, I'm consuming one third of it, which is about 80 grams. So this is how much uh, vegetables I consume per day. So one thing you need to know is that carbohydrate group has a few things. You have simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrate and vegetables come under carbohydrate as well together with fruits. Now the thing is, for this entire one month, from February the 1st to 28th of February, I will not be having any fruits, zero fruits. I'll be consuming this large amount of uh, vegetables instead. Having that large amount of vegetables, you won't believe how much calories that is. Make a guess. Please write it below. Please comment below how much calories you think this gigantic bag of greens is. Just comment below. I will tell you tomorrow how much calories is there in that bag of greens. Hi, Auntie Omar. Welcome on board. So have a look at it. See whether this is what you would like to consume. So my eating plan for today and onwards for 28 days is this way. I wake up in the morning, I have 30 grams of protein. Now one thing you must understand is 100 grams of protein does not give you 30 grams of protein. Hi Andrew, welcome on board. For example, if you consume 100 grams of beef, you will get 33 grams of protein. If you consume 100 grams of chicken, you will get 24 grams of protein, depending on which part. So if it's a chicken breast, you'll get 28 grams of protein. If you consume chicken thigh, you get 24 grams of protein. Any other part will have more fats in it, so it'll have less grams of protein, up as low as 18 grams of protein for the chicken wings. So, um, and if you eat fish, 100 grams of fish will give you 31 to 33 grams of protein depending on which fish you are consuming. If you're consuming salmon, you will get 36 grams of protein. If you eat tilapia, you'll get 33 grams of protein. If you eat flounder, like what I'm eating now, it is 31 grams of protein. So you must understand how you look at it, yeah? So I consume 36 grams of protein in the morning from a protein shake because it's easy to make. Pour it in, mix it up, drink. 45 seconds later, I'm done. I can go to work. So, for lunch time, I've had my avocado, I've had my flounder, and I'm about to have my vegetables. After this, at 2 o'clock, I'll be having my lunch too, which is a smaller portion. It's also a protein drink, which will give me 24 grams of protein. And my lunch, 
last uh, meal for the day. I take between 5 and 8 p.m. That will be my last meal for the day and it will also contain 24 grams of protein for myself. Now, one thing you can do for yourself is I will share with you the recipes to use to eat. Hi Nissan, welcome on board. So, I'll share with you what I'll be eating every single day. For six days, I'll have this kind of meals. I'll change up the proteins every two weeks. And basically what you'll see in that 28 days is how much weight I lose. So tonight at about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I will take a video of me, not naked, but in a compression suit so you can see what my figure looks like. And then we'll compare that at the end of the month on the 28th of February and see, I'll show you how I look like again. So this will give you a rough idea of what and what and how I will lose my weight. I'll also go through with you every single day what I'm eating, what kind of protocol I'm following and what I'm achieving. On the seventh day, on the seventh day is my cheat day. For ladies, you can have a complete cheat day because you want to make sure that your T3 and T4 hormones work. Otherwise, you end up with some serious hormonal issues if you don't have enough carbohydrates for that entire day. The, your, entire cheat, your cheat day is an entire day of binging on carbohydrates. For guys, we can get away with having one meal for our binge day. But whatever it is, on your binge day, you will have to have a high protein meal in the morning and then there's a different protocol to be followed on the binge day. I'll go with you, with you on the binging on that day itself. Okay, so we are going to have high protein meals for our lunch and lunch too, as well as dinner. And I will go through with you the recipes tomorrow, tomorrow, alright? So if you find this of um, benefit to you, please share it with your friends and family. This particular topic is called the slow carb diet and I will go through with you the entire plan over the next few days. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Have a good night in the US. Have a great day in Singapore and Asia. Bye-bye.